one hour to go time. We're Sid and Mackie, and we're professional mountain bikers on a quest to race the best and most challenging mountain bike races around the world. This week, we're doing a race that definitely checks both of those boxes, the Trans Andes Challenge, a five-day stage race in Chilean Patagonia. Over the next five days, we'll be riding 180 miles and climbing 30,000 feet through some of the most stunning terrain on Earth, volcanoes, rivers, <laughs> volcanic rivers. No. We're walking through a waterfall. This race has a bit of everything, including, of course, the unpredictable and volatile weather that Patagonia is famous for. We are uh, descending a volcano in a freezing downpour. We'll be joined this week by our good friends Lo and Joe, who we somehow convinced to try this as their first ever mountain bike stage race. Ready? We have no idea what we're getting into, but we're pretty sure it's going to be unlike anything we've ever done before. And it's going to push us to our physical and mental limits. Oh God, what the f Congratulations, Sid. You have climbed 8,000 feet. You have unlocked a Snickers bar. <laughs> These videos are made possible by our team on Patreon, so we're releasing them there early. If you can't wait until Friday for episode two, well, you know where to look. Huge thank you to our patrons for supporting our craziest of endeavors. Okay, let's get racing. What you doing, Joe? I'm looking up uh, results from 2022 for stage two, which is this year's stage one, to see how long it took the leaders to know how much food I need to pack. I'm just gonna strap a sandwich to my top tube, cross <laughs> my fingers, and hope for the best. Does his method stress you out? No, it just, he's perfect, and I love him so much. All right, we made it. These guys rode over, and uh, time to go register. This is a fully supported stage race, and unlike some other races we've done, we'll be based in one spot, Pukon, for the entire time. This means we'll be staying in this hotel for all five nights. Okay, this is our home for the week. It's a family room, here's Lo. There's three beds on this side, one bed over there. On the other side of that wall. So we've banished Joe over there because rumor has it he snores. <laughs> and we'll be eating all three meals a day in the dining room. This is our favorite way to do stage races because all you have to think about is racing and, of course, keeping your body and bike in one piece. Well, bikes were happy today. We washed them yesterday, put on new rubber. I think a bolt check is all we need to do. How are you feeling? Good, I think. Yeah, it definitely felt kind of antsy. On the ride yes, it today. was roaring, roaring to go today. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm prepared for this, but also nervous because it's five days and just like anything could happen. And I'm definitely a little apprehensive about like the f the first five k. I think people are gonna go really fast. There's gonna be like gonna be a little aggro. Focus on myself. Yes, very good. Not worry about what everyone else is doing. My legs felt a little bit flat today, but like not terrible. Mostly I'm excited because... Yeah. We yeah. get to ride our bikes. We get to ride our bikes. In Patagonia. In Patagonia. There are a variety of methods for dealing with the pre-race jitters. Lo is over there and has been reading this entire time. I'm pretty sure she's read at least three books. Hello. I... I'm incredibly nervous, but also, I guess, edging towards fine. Okay, good. Um, because it is what it is. Sid's on her phone. Joe is doing math. I normally do four scoops in a tall bottle, which I think is 24 ounces. 100 grams of carbs. So that's the density of the carb per ounce. Which you're calling 
alpha T. Yeah, that's my <laughs> thickness coefficient. Okay. Bienvenidos a todos a la catorceava edición del Transcendent Challenge. Primero que nada, un gran aplauso a todos ustedes que están nuevamente acá en Pucón, en nuestro querido Chile. First day of school, what are you going to wear? We have cheetah, camo, floral, black. I have black bibs or green bibs? Black green. or green. Okay. Lo says green. Green and melon. Green and melon. I look yeah. like a watermelon. Sandia, we'll watermelon. Do Don't worry, we are going to have custom, very brightly colored kits for our next race. But it would have been a total miracle to have changed sponsors and gotten new custom kits by March 1st, and that didn't happen. I think you'll be good with two bottles. Then you have a bottle of lube. A bottle of lap. I think I'll bring a bar in case I need additional calories. And I'll have stuff in my pocket. I would just like a Ziploc bag to protect they my phone. They don't have them in Chile. I swear, we never find them. Do you know who does have them? No oh, way! Our number one packer. Do you have no enough to share? Impressed. I have like seven. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing! Because the Polaris Lounge has the all-you-can-eat M&M dispenser. <laughs> Good morning. It's 7.15 a.m. There's like a 100% chance of rain. I'm gonna go check out the breakfast scene. We got to breakfast 15 minutes after it started and there were already no bowls. Just recorded a whole thing without turning the microphone on. Lo almost died. Can still use it. Doesn't need audio. I'm fine. I mean, I'm going to be fine. I feel terrible right now. I'm just like. I don't know. I wish I didn't feel like crap right now, but I do. The breakfast. eating of breakfast was. Bad. One hour to go time. Yep. Stage one is 29 miles long with 5,000 feet of climbing. After a long gravel road climb, we'll be doing two laps of rugged terrain in the Cerduo bike park. When we pre-rode this course a few days ago, we had spectacular views of the volcano. But today's weather is a little different. But it's wet as <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, wet as a donkey. <laughs> Um, wet as, I don't know, it's wet. Suerte, que disfruten. Gracias. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. So much for control. Go, go, go. Okie dokie. That was a nice fun chaos. I was watching people at the beginning there passing on that side with know, oncoming know, traffic. I'm like, do you want to die at the beginning of the race? Everyone goes ham. And then everyone explodes. Here's where I get to get off the pavement shortly. I know. Yellow.
like the rainbows. I mean, it is the rainbows. This is way different than the last time we were out here, but no less beautiful. And see just how many people are in front of me up there. It's mildly discouraging, but it's okay. Four and a half days left. I've made a mistake. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little heart rate spike I didn't need. about where I expected to be. That's cool. Insert volcano here. All right, this guy, climbing machine. Excellent. Te paso. Gracias. I had to feel it. This might be where I could make up time. You want it? Then it starts very strong kilo and then immediately jumps into a very steep rut. So I'm gonna give Joe a little bit of space, let him run up on people first. Pista, pista. Si estás caminando. Hay una caída. Did you lose your bottle? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Se puede pasar, chicos. Así. Déjame pasar, chicos. Paso. Okay. I have more information. But so does he. So I suspect he is going to push it on the second lap to try to put a gap on me because he knows I will outsit descend him. <laughs> Alright, this river crossing not stoked out, but here we are.
despacio, despacio que hay un poquito despacio. Uh. <laughs> okay, wet feet. Now that I know what the situation is, I feel like this is my day to start off with a solid wind, but I'm gonna have to work real hard on the second lap because I get the feeling he isn't gonna be happy that I put time on him on this descent. to get around like 40 people. Fork is feeling a little slow because of the temperature, but that is okay. I just need to keep that in mind. I won't get as much pop on decompression as I expect. Okay, slipped a pedal, nutted myself, and yeah, that hurt. But besides that, I had an excellent descent. And now, I get to go do it all again. Well, so look at it on the camera on, because I just witnessed a terrifically bad pass and resulting crash. It was not caused by me. I was chilling and enjoying myself. Now they're back there yelling at each other, and she's very pissed but she has a right to be because that was a terrible pass. Good, just focus on yourself. Red, same pass. Okay, let's take stock, Mackie. What's the status? I would say I really enjoyed the descent. Felt good, felt fast. My feet are very wet. Definitely started feeling it at the top of that climb yesterday. Yesterday, not yesterday. Started feeling it at the top of the climb. Now we have that climb to do again. So I think focusing on calories is gonna be the big thing. Get the calories in and then just be consistent. Don't squander my lead. All right, the moto guy just came by. 
And apparently, I've got a two minute gap to second. So that's solid. We'll definitely take that. Like I said, I just have to make sure I don't squander it. Well, I just looked behind me and uh, I believe second place is caught up or close to. So I don't know if uh, two minutes was inaccurate or if I've just been lollygagging. One lap done. Siete! I have a brief moment of lost focus there. Doing the second lap. Just, I don't know. My gears are not shifting well. I have butts with the, the barrel adjuster. But all I can seem to do is make it worse. Man, he's a machine. Gracias. How you doing? <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. Oh okay, it's really raining now, but it's still really warm and humid. Come on, Maggie. He's doing better on lap two. A little bit. <laughs> See? <laughs> All right, we're crossing. No, voy para allá. Gracias. Tú sabes, muy bien, muy bien. All right, well, soon the camera's completely covered in mud now. So, that's about what I can see as well. Okay. Woo. Pista. Gracias. Relatively smoothly. We get over these probably very slippery logs. We can get it. Hola. Les puedo pasar cuando tienes un lugar 
He's going to be pushing hard. So you have to push harder. And just descend smoother. That you can do. Hola, te paso a la derecha. Gracias. Leader de la carrera. Gracias. Thanks, guys. Te puedo pasar. Gracias. Puedo pasar, por favor. Gracias. Adelante. Probably like five minutes left. Maybe a little bit more, but. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, much better. Come on, Mackie, you're almost there. Okay, don't fall in a creek and you're there. All right. Gracias. Número cinco segundo. How was that? Bien, bien, yeah. muy bien. Fue el número cinco sube como una máquina. Sí. The dirt is so perfect. That last descent was way more fun than the first yeah. time around. Got a fruta, bus, <laughs> This is a spot. What is it? A potato. Oh my god, really? Yeah, and you dip it in salt. I thought it was a weird looking fruit. <laughs> I wasn't sure if, I was gonna, if it was gonna hit, but it hits. All right. It slaps, as the kids say. It slaps. Well, I think that went really well. Might have gone a little too hard, but I kind of feel like everybody did. Apparently I won, so that's sick. Okay guys, that was day one, and I'm really cold. Racing, the temperature was awesome. But then we finished, and I got real cold, especially because it was pretty much all downhill back to here. I won, I'm absolutely stoked. Felt good, I felt strong, I rode well, but I need to go get in the shower and warm up, and then we will go out and look for Sid. Oh, off oh, my no. legs. It's nothing. I think it's just like a sca like a um, thorn. Oh, okay. But it bled cool. everywhere. So you didn't crash or anything. I mean, I well, I laid down in the mud to avoid <laughs> laying down on top of someone else. Yeah, I mean, I felt okay. Joe outpaced me for sure. So one to Joe. I did probably start a little too fast. Nobody could understand when I wanted to pass. 
So I just started going, meet me, meet me. <laughs> <laughs> I crushed some souls on the downhill. Yeah, yeah. And I felt like such a bitch because I, oh, sorry. Crushed that first descent. The like, one? oh, it nice. was. I was talking to myself on the really technical descent. I was like, don't break on the roots, don't break on the roots. Good job, Lo, good job. <laughs> yeah, Lo, like, you're so amazing. Obviously, a double win is the best possible way to start a stage race, and we're pretty stoked. Lo also snagged second place in the 30 to 39 women's category. But there is a lot of racing still to come, and as I said earlier, anything could happen. And if we thought today was wet, well, joke's on us. Are we swimming or are we riding bikes? Okay, that was uh, exciting. My chamois was collecting water. You've seen tiny toddlers at the swimming pool uh -huh. when they have their diapers and they yeah. get really nice and full. Yeah. 